Hello YouTube, this is Andrew with Database Controls. And yeah, this is something I've been pretty much wanting to do for a while. Um, it's pretty much a database, and this is with MySQL. And I'm using the Workbench version, the 6.3.9 build. And it's pretty much the community, it's the free version. All right, and so I'm basically going to just show, start off on how to create a table. Pretty much from scratch. So start off making your query. It's just going to be a short video on just doing pretty much introduction to using MySQL. So you're going to do create table. And this is the thing that I want to just emphasize. You can, with, with MySQL, you could do You can pretty much do whatever you want with MySQL. It's not case sensitive or SQL period. It's going to be, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. And I'm just going to name this the customers. Customers table. Okay. And within the customers, I am going to make a, let's see, a customer ID. And this is going to be a integer, but I'm going to make it a auto. See, auto increment. I could never spell that too much. Um, and it's going to be a primary key. Now, I, I could probably explain a little bit further on my primary key. Primary key is pretty much like your social security number. It's something that is completely unique, and no one else, well, no one else should have that. So... Anyways, and we're going to have the, let's see here, uh, first name. Let's go last name first. No. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, you make it 255. 255 characters. And first name. And it's going pretty basic right here. And email. And I'm going to close this. And now the semicolon pretty much seals the deal. It pretty much says, hey, you're done. So. All right, and you go up to here to run that code. It should work. Okay, you see there's your results. And if you want to, um, let's see, yeah, there it is, wait. This is the customers. It usually takes a little bit to refresh. Uh, but, come on. Anyways, well, um, I will, sh let me see, there's a way to show it. I'm so sorry about this. Well, anyways, I'll just show it on a different table. This is what I did earlier. Um, select rows, there we go. Okay, so let's just change this. Um, select customers. There we go. And run this. So there we go. There's our table. Now it has nothing in there right now. Um, so let's go and insert. Insert a few things in here. Like I said, this could be a short, this is pretty much a short video. And I'm just doing this for good practice. <laughs> just let you know. So I'm going to insert it into the customer, no, to the employees, my fault. All right. Yeah, customers. To customer. customers. Um, to insert into the last name. Now, there's a reason why I'm not going to enter the customer ID, and I'll show you. F. Yeah. 
and the values. And I'm just gonna make these up here. Um, change. Wait, oh, last name. Oops. And And there we go. Okay. And put the semicolon in. All right, let's run this. Okay, and again, we're gonna view this thing. I guess it's still not showing yet. All right, well, let's go with this. Customers. Now, remember how I, um, I didn't, I didn't enter the ID, so I want you to see this here. Okay, so it auto creates a ID. That's why in the code earlier, um, let's see here, I did the create table. You notice right here, the it's auto increment. It is pretty much a auto number. Just like if you're going to access and go to the uh, auto number, yeah, that's what it is. All right, well, yeah, this is pretty much a short video. I'm going to make more of these uh, using my SQL workbench. And thank you for watching, and have a great evening. And like, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Hello, it's Andrew Bartlett, the owner and operator of DatabaseControls.com. And thank you so very much for watching this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, put in your comments, ask any questions you need. Can you contact me with the information listed? And thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you again.